security authentication and authorization authentication is the process that determine the identity of a user whenever a user logs on to an application the user is first authenticated and then authorized it is the process by which the system validates a user's login information authorization authorization determines whether a particular user should be granted access to a specific resource or not you can say that it is the process of granting approval or permission on resources the asp.net framework supports following types of authentication windows authentication dotnet passport authentication and forms authentication you can use these different authentication modes by applying the setting to the application's web.config file or in conjunctions with the application server's is instance a web.config file is another xml based configuration file that resides in the root directory of the web application the setting applied in the web.config file override the same setting applied in the higher level machine.config file these xml based files enable you to easily change how asp.net behaves you can enable a particular type of authentication for an application in an application's root web configuration file we can have mode like windows forms passport and none windows it is the default authentication mode in asp.net windows authentication is used together with is authentication forms the user provides his login information and submits the form if the information is correct then the system issues a form that contains the credentials or a key for getting the identity passport a centralized authentication service provided by microsoft that offers single login and core profile services for the member sites msn and hotmail uses the passport authentication none no authentication mode is applied windows authentication windows authentication is useful in an intranet environment in a windows based authentication model the request go directly to is to provide the authentication process forms based authentication forms based authentication authenticates the user who wants to access an entire application or a specific resource within an application it is based on cookies where the username and passwords are stored either in a text file or database after a user is authenticated the user's credential are stored in a cookie for use in that session passport authentication it is a centralized service provided by microsoft passport authentication allows user to create a single registration and get the same name and password to access any site that has implemented the passport authentication service msn and hotmail uses the passport authentication if you have done registration in msn then you can access hotmail with same username and password without registering in hotmail